Wow, that's crazy. I was just, I literally was just about to get on camera and talk about the Teofimo Lopez fight this weekend, fighting um, Cambosos Jr. Just got the alert saying that Lopez tested positive for COVID-19. I got, I literally just got this right here on my phone. <laughs> Y'all can see that from um, Mike Coppinger. So I get every tweet um, from my cop. Every time he posts something, I get an alert. So I, I, I stay tuned in to boxing. So you already know. But um, it says the Triller Fight, the Triller Fight Club pay per view was set to be held in Miami at the home of Marlins after Triller won the purse bid with more than six million dollars. Um, uh, Tio Vimalos has tested positive for COVID nineteen. After a PCR test and a symp sympathetic, I can't pronounce that, symphonic. Uh, as a result, his four belt, as a result, his four belt title fight versus George Camposo Jr. set for Saturday is moved to August 14th, along with the undercard. And the undercard was stacked too. The undercard, the undercard, he had uh, Michael Hunter versus uh, Michael Hunter fight. Versus Wilson had a couple of uh, female boxers in there as well. Cruz Desern um, and a super feather a featherweight fight between Vincent and Carol. Not familiar with those guys, but I will still watch every fight because I'm a boxing guy. But man, uh, Teofimo Lopez tested positive for COVID nineteen. I mean, it's kind of I don't know. Maybe people just aren't. Maybe people. Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain, right? Because I, I understand that everybody has to go through the protocols and stuff like that. But you know, you're a fighter. You know you're going to get tested. To be proactive about this, you should get something done, like a vaccine. I'm, and I'm not an advocate on vaccines at all. I don't deal with vaccines. Period. But. I really wanted to see this fight this weekend. I wanted to see Lopez in, in action. He's one of my favorite fighters. So when I got this alert just now, literally five minutes ago, like <laughs> I was very surprised by this news. But uh, I guess the good news is it's still moved. It's not canceled or anything. It's rescheduled and it's rescheduled for August. Set in Miami. Sidebar, right? I don't know what it is, but you know, is Miami becoming the new boxing i don't know um event city you know a lot of events have happened recently in my in miami you know so and boxing has been has been coming down here recently uh, last week he just had a youtube fight which i didn't know about till my son told me some youtubers versus um tiktokers you know they fought and of course we had mayweather versus uh logan paul right so and I believe, uh, wasn't um, Canelo out here before as well? Canelo was out here too. So yeah, Miami was coming like a, a boxing, you know, a centerpiece. I, I, I actually like it. Yeah, I want to see more boxing down here. You know what I'm saying? I, and, you know, <clears throat> I'll be sure to attend a fight in person rather than watching it, you know, on my laptop, on my, um, uh, on my TV. To watch a fight i'd rather just go in person but yeah i mean i, I like it man I, I don't know what it is uh all of a sudden now people want to you know have fights down here but you know hey the more the merrier man i like it i like it so but yeah like i said man uh to female has tested positive for covid 19 and the fight has been rescheduled to august uh the 14th and the undercard as well is moved so there you have it family like i said i was surprised when i got this this alert from uh my copper john so i was i was surprised i was i was definitely surprised man definitely surprised but yeah that's the news family <laughs> that is the news so yeah that's all i got for now family leave your comments down below um let me know what you guys think about this uh this news about lopez getting covid19 drop your thoughts down below until next time family GMOG Sports TV signing out. Peace.